Okay, and the first alert forecast, first item, if you're just waking up or just now checking in with us, we had a minor earthquake this morning. It happened at 3.39 in the morning, so a lot of people slept through this. But if you are uh, in the East Bay, this was strong enough to wake some people up. A 3.6 is strong enough to be felt, especially if it's right underneath you. Uh, and if you're over in the East Bay Hills, this was felt enough to do that. We don't have any reports of damage from this. The 3.6 isn't strong enough for that. We wouldn't expect any reports, and we don't have any reports. But you can see how widely this was felt. All the areas in light blue here are areas where we've got USGS verified reports of people who say they felt this. Of course, as we come in closer, you can see the color showing up here all through the East Bay. It was felt here, and the shades show you it was felt Weak, weak to moderate, 3.6. Happened on the Hayward Fault, by the way. And that, El Cerrito, you've had a couple of these. This was centered in El Cerrito. And this is uh, at least the second one that I can remember from reporting on personally in pretty much the same location over the course of the last two years. And you can trace the Hayward Fault going through the East Bay Hills there. It's not only for El Cerrito, obviously. That is the most important fault. Bay Area wide, it goes under a huge population center, and it is likely uh, the most concerning one in terms of its potential at some point in the not too distant future to provide a fairly significant earthquake. But today's was very minor. Okay, that's the look outside from the top of the Salesforce Tower. A beautifully clear and sunny start to this day. Sunrise came up at 719. Look at the haze. That is the Santa Clara Valley, and this is the camera that sits on the mountains on the west side of it. We're looking out towards, you can see Mount Hamilton on the other side, downtown San Jose, and all the other communities are under that. It doesn't look as bad when you're in it. It looks a lot more dramatic when you get above it. But it is hazy again today. We're going to have some moderate air quality as a result. But grab the heavy jacket to start things off. It's 25 degrees in Petaluma. It's 28 in Santa Rosa. And it's 31 in Livermore. If we switch our perspective and instead of looking at temperatures, just to see where there's any fog, there is some. Try Valley. So give yourself a little extra time on the road this morning. For Livermore and any locations going out on 580, you're likely going to encounter some fog because that is a pretty impressive reading at the airport at Livermore. Daytime highs today are going to be just fine. Mid to upper 50s, plenty of sunshine, no real change. So those numbers are pretty much right on the mark. And as far as those cold morning lows, we've got to get through the next few mornings. Saturday, we already know we're down into the mid and upper 20s in those North Bay Valleys. We're going to do it again tomorrow. We'll probably do it again on Monday. But then things will get better. And as we get to the middle of this next coming week, you won't have to freeze. It's still going to be cold, but it won't be in the upper 20s cold. It'll be more mid-30s cold. And you know what? That will feel better. You still want the jacket, but it'll feel better. Seven-day forecast shows us no change. Daytime high staying in the mid to upper 50s for pretty much the remainder of the seven-day forecast. Maybe a few clouds by the end of the week, but no real significant or chance or hope for rain coming our way will be even noticeably warmer in the North Bay Valleys, will be in the mid-60s. Devin, back to you. Really mild and beautiful for the next week, but we definitely need more rain eventually. Be nice to see it come back. Definitely not through the end of December at this point, though. All right, thank you. Yeah.